what's going on guys um, welcome to the next video on uh, HTML in bootstrap uh, this is our second uh, video on uh, bootstrap uh, so in this um, video we're gonna discuss further bootstrap and we begin with bootstrap um, the first uh, things if you guys want to start so in our uh, previous videos we discuss uh, what HTML is and what is the head sec uh, section of the HTML so in this video we're going to begin we begin with the um, bootstrap uh, uh, a meta tag so because bootstrap uh, sits in the meta tag uh, and uh, if you don't know what meta tag is so we can start the bootstrap all right uh, so this is the normal HTML if you guys see this one this is a HTML and we instruct the HTML that our uh, language is English this is the head section of the HTML at the beginning at the first and this is how we put the comment so we open this one exclamation mark and two lines here and that's how we're going to close the um, comment as well so if you guys want to put a comment unlike uh, C++ or um, uh, C sharp or Java you guys put a double line here or sometime you guys um, put a one uh, forward slash and put a star a star with the HTML if you guys want to put your comment that's how you put your comment so we are telling the HTML uh, to ignore this section ignore this is our just for our own readability so we don't want HTML to process this uh, information here all right uh, the first section which uh, the HTML process gonna process inside the head just like a human head that we think and uh, we process information it's exactly the same thing with uh, HTML HTML process everything inside the head and the first thing we put this as a web developer inside the head is the meta so meta is uh, sort of uh, information so it's uh, information so the meta tag that's what we call it the meta tag you can see sometimes some websites got a um, few meta tags just for bootstrap this um, uh, this uh, red ones is the ones you guys see is minimum for the bootstrap if you guys want to put uh, your bootstrap here so that's how we do that the rest if you guys see that's uh, further information for uh, the HTML document that uh, what we want so the meta tag what is meta tag it defines the metadata about an HTML documents so meta data metadata is information to HTML and must be in the head uh, meta is equal to whatever you guys want to do so is and must be before this um, header which is a section of the HTML so meta it goes from the head all the way to the end of the head so it must be before the before any other I repeat any other CSS your uh, if you guys want to include your uh, CSS here uh, if you guys want to put your uh, JavaScript here or any other things it must be before so this is sort of we giving uh, HTML information about uh, what you guys wants want to do and this is the uh, you guys put it here HTTP equivalent content type so if you guys want to put a HTTP implement refre refresh and if you put a content 30 it's going to refresh the page every time every 30 seconds so but HTML listens to this one now and sometime you guys see this one most of the websites got a content type and we instructing that our content type is is what's uh, HTML is looking what content is our content type is text and HTML that's what we passing this information to HTML and char set character says UTF-8 so char set uh, is uh, Unicode as we explained in the C C++ char set is Unicode and UTF-8 it goes to so many other languages like Persian like Urdu Hindi like um, say Russian like Chinese but if you if you want to put uh, uh, this sort of information this sort of UTF-8 in our website say if you guys want to put a Urdu or a Hindi so you must put this chart set a UTF-8 because UTF-8 is the international internationalization of uh, the UTF so UTF-8 can process the Arabic um, 
it can process Urdu, Hindi, Chinese, Japanese, any other language, Russian, uh, beside English. Even though we instruct our um, uh, HTML to process English, it's an English type or of our HTML is English, but if you guys put a UTF-8, the capital letters, it means that uh, your character set, char set or character set is UTF-8. So that's how the Unicode of the computers are. All right, the second one is meta. The next information we passing to HTML is our bootstrap. This is the minimum you guys have to put on the bootstrap. And name is the viewport. This is this is very important part. This this part is very very important. Viewport is users vi users visible area of the web page make website look good on all devices as you guys you guys can see. So meta meta name is viewport. This is a, this is a view and a port. It means that when the users turn on to our website, that's that's the front page that users gonna see and it's gonna fit in inside this the entire this screen and, and what's the content this is the extra bit but as a as a uh, beginner you guys only need this initial scale one so you that's you guys need the meta name and initial scale one the reason i put this the rest because you guys go on the websites and you see a lot of information that's very confusing some so I'll put like professional web developers they put a meta name viewport and initial scale is one and we put a content user scalable no because users if the user is scalable we put it no and maximum scale is one minimum scale is one with device width is equal to device width and height is equal to device height so width and device is equal to like that so so this is very easy it's not a rocket science like a uh, height is device height width is device width minimum scale is one uh, maximum scale is one initial scale is one so this is all one all right so and the user cannot scale it just this is user scalable is equal to no but this is not important all you guys need inside this HTML, uh, uh, bootstrap is meta name is equal to viewport because you need to pass the information instruct uh, html that you guys intending to use bootstrap and your device should be with the uh, viewport uh, viewport and initial scale is one as soon as the uh, web starts firing up load up and the scale is going to be one and you guys don't need these things i just put it for uh, you guys so you guys know that uh, there is other information to you guys can put it and meta name is equal to description and we put a, another meta name is description and what's the description uh, cheap products for everyone so this is uh, the reason we put this description and keywords is for search engines to come and see because search engine google come and see your websites and read this meta so it comes in all right what's the description we put a description of our website cheap products for everyone cheap uh, hair products for everyone cheap uh, clothes for ladies or cheap clothes for uh, ladies in uh, in say different countries like say Pakistan or China or you guys can put anything as long as you guys want to let the search engine to read your uh, meta name because search engines got a robots and that robots see robots meta name is equal to robots and contents all it means that we instructing the robots to read all the contents here whatever the contents here and meta name is equal to keywords if you guys want the search engine to look for your keyword inside this uh, website inside your website you have to put this one that uh, meta name is equal to keywords and what's the content media center template e-commerce you guys can put anything you guys uh, can put a um, uh, html css javascript uh, clothes uh, e-nails uh, lipsticks you guys can put anything as long as you guys want that keyword to go inside say if the user is looking the other end wants to type inside the google search i want the cheap nails in karachi in pakistan so as soon as the user put a cheap nails 
because your website has got a cheap nail here it comes in the search engine so this is useful very useful keyword like just like um, YouTube you guys looking for a video say you guys looking for the keywords so you guys looking for uh, if you guys looking for uh, say HTML or you guys looking for say if looking for song so as soon as you put the type of the song because it's inside the whoever uploaded is gonna put in the keyword is gonna comes in the first in the search engine that's what so if you guys looking for uh, say uh, China for example Chinese New Year uh, if I put it contents if my, my my keyword I put a content is equal to New Year's as soon as the user type the contact New Year the search engine is going to show my website first because I have that in the keyword and that's in my meta and I'm instructing the HTML to pass this information to Google say or Yahoo or any other search engine these parts are not very important the black ones the this ones are not very important if you guys want to use others other engine but that's very advanced topic but this is in the red that's what you guys need this is in the red so meta name viewport and you guys need to put this initial scale is equal to one don't worry about this thing this is just as for uh, future and uh, meta name description whatever content you guys don't need this as well but you guys need this one name author and content this one okay so as we explained width is equal to device width sets the width of the page to follow screen with the um, uh, width of the user's device and initial scale is equal to one sets the initial zoom level when the page is first loaded by the browser just as we explained this is um, uh, if you guys want to put a one this is one this is whatever you guys viewing at this uh, my uh, laptop this is one so you guys uh, don't need any other um, information so uh, sorry any other zoom level so you guys I can't put a two if I put a two it comes in very close you don't need that one you just put an initial scale is one this is one so when the users uh, say if the users want to squeeze this so the user want to expand this up to the user that's how we go there but at the moment the initially we put it one this is the minimum bootstrap needs if you guys you have to put something inside the meta uh, like this for the bootstrap to to work so and you must pass because bootstrap lives inside the html html is like a container or pool and bootstrap lives inside the html so it's going to give a styling and everything to the html so um i think that's it that's introduction that's the first step it takes in to bootstrap uh, in the next step I was thinking to introduce you guys briefly just one video for JavaScript so you guys know quickly what JavaScript is and then we begin our coding with um, uh, bootstrap all right till next uh, video uh, I'll see you guys um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video